are we? The sons of the living God! Who are we? The sons of the living God! Hold on, hold on, hold on, wait, 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 wait. Yes. Hold on, hold on, wait, wait, wait. No, no, listen, listen, let me, let me ask you a question. Let, let, let me ask you, let me ask you a, a very compelling question. How many Jews died in the Holocaust? Millions. Do we know how many millions? No. Well, they say six million. That's what okay. the record says. Yeah, I was going to say. The same sucks. record that says only three million Jews existed on the planet Earth at that same time. Ooh, How did double the amount of Jews get exterminated then history says existed? I don't trust the Holocaust. No, if you don't <laughs> yeah, trust history, then how can you trust the Holocaust? Well, here's the Bible. I can trust the Bible well, because it's reliability. It's right, reliability gonna, over the animals of time. Nobody else will talk to you. I'm speaking right now. If you have anything to say, you'll address it to me. That's right. Oh, All right. Yeah. Now, yeah. Now, yeah. now, now, next, now, next. You say because they have blue eyes. Now, first off, I'm dealing with you right now. Time well, Magazine. Hold on, on, man. Can I talk? Can I talk? I just walked up here. I'm sure you've been running your mouth plenty before I got here. So let me say what the hell I need to say. Time Magazine has a book that they compiled about the history of Nazi Germany. Are y'all familiar with that? Yo, well, you, well, within, I've heard of oh, it. Oh, you've heard of it. You should look into it. Because right in the book, it says the reason why Hitler had an issue with Jews was because they followed verbatim a nigger's religion. That's right. Because he said the Jews of antiquity are black. So white people had no business following the religious spiritual system of Afro-Asiatic black people. That's verbatim in German all there. So none of y'all are Jews. But go ahead. That's right. I am white. Wait. You're, you're, you're not a Jew. You're not a Jew. That's all I'm telling you. You know, you're not a descendant of the Jews. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm looking at that device in verse 13. Why is the group ethnic? Give me, give me the book of Hosea. Give me Hosea. Wait. Where are you going? But before I go, are, are you are you a Yid? Are you Jewish? Yeah. You're Yehudim, right? You're Yehudim, right? Can I read I like the prophets? Yeah. Can I need the now? Can I do that? Yes. Can I please finish what I was going to say real quick? Uh, so what you're telling me is that in this group uh -huh. of ethnic university yes, sir. that there is not in any way, shape, or form that one of them is not a descendant in any way, shape, or form. Everybody up of, here is a descendant of, of the 12 right. patriarchs. So, yes, right. Patrilineally. Right. Good. So what I'm saying is, uh -huh. I don't know my heritage entirely. In fact, I only know about two generations uh, back. What's your last name? Berniger. I happen to be adopted. Uh, Berniger. I am. Okay, so... It was Russian because that's what my adopted A name. Russian Jew or what? As far as I know, that they don't even know their heritage. That's what I'm getting at. A lot of us don't know our heritage uh -huh. far enough back. So uh, what's to say we aren't connected in some way, we're not. Course. We're not connected. And we just read Actually, you know what? Back. Let me show you. Let me show you how you are connected. Genesis 25. I am because God is preaching to this. Give me first. Give me, give me first Samuel 5 and 21. You don't have to listen to me. You don't have to. I don't want. I don't. I don't. I'm not looking for your agreement. I'm not looking for you to listen to me. If you'd like to do it, what I'd like you to leave with that we're the Jews and you're the God. That's right. So it's division and hatred. I mean, if that's what you want to take out of it. Are you okay for two hatred? Of course I'm Is that what Jesus Why taught? Why not? Yes, he taught, he taught love. Okay, let me ask you something. He love. Did he teach love? 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 He did. Proverbs 11 and 1. Read that first. Let me show you something. He taught love, correct? Jesus is love. Jesus is love, right? God love. Okay, God love, right? Okay, he taught love, right? Yes. Proverbs 11 and 1. The Proverbs chapter 11 verse 1. Read. A false balance. A what? A false balance. A false balance, read. Is an abomination to the Lord. God said it's a false balance. It's an abomination. What Meaning if you're just all love, that's abominable. That's with right. love has okay. to be balanced with hate. I believe right? in love. Ecclesiastes, Ecclesiastes is a time, Ecclesiastes, a time, a time, time of love, love and, time and a time to hate. Of course. Yeah. So what does that mean? There's a balance. What do you mean we're all hate? No, Guess no, what? No, I don't no. hate nobody up here. I don't no, hate nobody no, standing either. over there. So what but are you yeah, talking you're about? Uh, exactly. you. So there's a lot more love here than you hate. There's only two you. people I hate you here. Right. Meanwhile, there's damn near 30 people I love here. God! God. Uh -huh. so Hold on, I'm teaching the okay. you. Hold on, you got first time you're five. Let me get first time you're five. When you teach them, I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you all along. Can you slow down? You ask me four questions right now. Can I answer your questions one at a time? Is that the reasonable way to deal with it? It is, I agree.
You speak Hebrew? Y'all are Jews, right? Uh, Jews. Jews. He's really, really Russian. Do you speak the Hebrew? Run around and I'm gonna give you a Hebrew lesson. Second Samuel 5 and 21. So the second Samuel chapter 5, verse 21. Uh -huh. And there they left their images. Uh -huh. And David and his men burnt them. David and his men burnt the idol tree. And the Philistines came up uh -huh. yet again and spread themselves in the valley of Rephaim. Uh -huh. And when David inquired of the Lord, uh -huh. he said, Thou shalt not go up. But oh, yeah. 21, where's the 5? 22. Right here, 20. My bad. Go ahead. Verse 20. And David came to Baal Perazim. Came to what? Baal Perazim. He called it Baal Perazim. No, it's not all the time. Baal is an idol that certain people worship. But Baal also means what in Hebrew? Do we know? I know. It yeah. simply means Lord. So every time you see Baal, that's not there. God, the most high God of the Bible, is also called Baal of certain things, meaning Lord of certain things. Individuals are named Baal or Lord. So every time you see Baal, it's not an idol. It's called Baal Parazim. What does Parazim mean? Division. So what is God called in the Bible? The Lord of division. Right. So yes, I'm yes. coming to bring division because the most high God is the Lord of division. And, that's right. Right. and David smote him there and said, the Lord has broken forth upon my he enemies. Who? The Lord has broken forth. The Lord. Who is the Lord? What's that? When it says the Lord in the King James Bible, what's there in the Hebrew? Hashem is there, correct? Right? Hashem is there. No, but this is all, this is, this is, this is uppercase. So this is Hashem there, right? This is, this is uh, 2 Samuel 5 and 20. That's Hashem there. Read. The Lord has broken forth upon my enemies uh -huh. before me as the breaches of water. Uh -huh. Therefore he called the name David, of that place. David said, because of what the Most High empowered me to do in this place, because of what yod heh wav -Hey empowered me to do in this place, I will call this place, but all perazim, the Lord of division. Read. Therefore he called the name of that place, but all perazim. Right, the Lord of division. So the Most High God, Hashem, is about division. That's the first thing we have to understand, right? You got Psalm 5 and 5? Yeah. On that What note. you got? Hold, hold that, hold that, go ahead. But the Psalms chapter 5, verse 5. Uh -huh. The foolish shall now stand in thy sight. The foolish shall not stand in the sight of the Most High, read. Thou hatest all workers. Wait, wait. Thou do what? Thou hatest. Thou do what? Thou hatest. So he hates. He loves, he hates. He's not unbalanced. So we so, love and we hate. Yes, well, God has a righteous hatred and we have a righteous hatred. Right. Right. Yes, yes. yes, yes, of course. Let me ask you a question, right? If somebody stole your identity, everything you had, your land, every dollar you had, enslaved your damn children, would that not be righteous to have hatred towards that person? I honestly have tried to Oh, you try to, you try to forget everyone? So why in the hell were all those alleged participants, uh, participants in the Holocaust, the Nazis, executed? Why did that happen? Where was the love for them? Why weren't they forgiven? Why didn't you forgive and love the Nazis? If a Nazi walked down the street right now, would you love him? He didn't no, set it up wait, wait, wait. You wouldn't love a Nazi if he walked down the street? And that. your people have hated my people. That's oh, right. You hate your people? I'm, Christ wants to kill your people. That's right. Christ wants to kill you. That's right. Isaiah 63, he wants to kill you as an individual. That's right. Because right. you're a part of your people. You benefit from what your people have done. Don't sit here and lie to me and act like you don't. I don't want your love. God, because every time we've ever let you guys love us, we've got a knife in our back. We're not out, I'm not out here for your love. No, I don't. I don't because God doesn't judge people like that. You know who the prophet Ezekiel is. Do you know who that is? Was Ezekiel a slave? What? Yes. He was. And why? What did he do? He was righteous. He lived a whole life of righteousness, but had to be a captive in Babylon. Why? Because God judged the nation. He didn't just judge one person. He brought Judah into slavery in Babylon, righteous and wicked together. So it don't matter about how y'all feel. All y'all got to get it. Go ahead. Wait. Hold that, hold that. One more simple question. I actually got to get going. So I just, I was kind of curious. Uh -huh. But as somebody who is trying to live a life uh -huh. where I absolutely try to give everything that was wrong to me personally, regardless of what my heritage is, regardless of what one other person's heritage is, and even if our family spot for generations, I still try to forgive that next generation. The reason is, at least for me, why spread the hate? 
down the line. So why not love a S Saddam Hussein? Actually, as a person. You love a Saddam Hussein? No, as a person, <laughs> I'm not going to put my judgment on him. I don't know the what man. What about Osama bin Laden? Why don't we love I Osama bin Laden? I never met the man. So did you? Do, or, so, <laughs> I didn't know the man. <laughs> so do I have a place to judge him? Unwittingly. No, I don't. So how do you do feel I about your government throwing his lifeless body in the ocean? I'm actually detested by it. You're detested by it? What about the public hanging of Saddam Hussein? That was disgusting. That was uncalled for. It was uncalled for. And do I think that white people had a right to enslave African Americans? Absolutely not. Okay. I have plenty of friends who are Islamic, who are African American, who are Catholic Christian, and we all get along. Because I don't say, oh, well, you guys killed my family in the past, so I'm going to hate you. No. We're but, all in but, new generation. But why? Why? Because I so your ancestors died in vain? No. That's the thing. They I don't have. know why they died. Was there a power struggle? Was there something else going on? Was there a change of money? Oh, who had the hell knows back then? We don't have the records. So we do. So we but, just gonna let. So you just gonna let your ancestors die, and that's it. And what's been done has been done. Oh why bring the past? See, that's the idea. That's the ideology that y'all are trying to superimpose on us. We're not going for that, man. No, so my ancestors asking, ain't die on no goddamn fields for nothing. Man. Yes. 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 Do I think that they were right to be enslaved and tormented and tortured? Of course no. not. But guess what? Here's the thing. Here's the problem with that. What year were you born? 1991. 1991. If you were born, what is that? 200 years earlier, you wouldn't have had these same objections. You do understand that. Correct? Actually, I probably would. Oh, you probably would. How would you know that? Because I've got a very strong sense of just how I was raised. Uh -huh. And you wouldn't have been raised like that 20 years ago, my man. This is the thing. 200 years ago, like that. that's absolutely right. 200 years exactly. ago, it was a different society. But uh -huh. on that note, when you see, have... On that note, see, here's what happened. Here's why the society has changed the legend. It's only to brainwash us into not wanting rightful revenge and justice. So, you do understand that, right? Under that pretense, uh -huh. do you think it's right for the Mexicans and the Islamics and everybody else that Trump is trying to take out of the country uh -huh. who came here seeking refuge uh -huh. from war, uh -huh. from unnecessary profiteering, unnecessary slavery, unnecessary torment. Do you think it's Did right? Did everybody come here for that? The people from the Middle East that came over here because of all the Those are traitors. War? Those are traitors to their country. Come. But come. You see what I'm Those saying? are treasonous. Right. Well, go what ahead. I'm saying is, is it right for those people to be shunned and kicked out because they're trying to How be can it be right? How can right. it be right for people who stole a place, built a pseudo government on a place, how can it be right for them to try to tell and dictate who can come in and out exactly. of a place that they stole? That's not right. That's not your point. That's our point. No, but if you're trying to hijack our so, point now. No, you stole my nationality, saying, you're going to take my point? So we were saying the same thing, but two different ways. Two different ways. Because, yes, I don't agree with half of the American history. I think it's outrageous. People celebrate it. I'm disgusted with it. But at the same time, you know, we're all supposed to be brothers and sisters that came, that came from the cradle of Africa. <laughs> According to everything. You African? That's the thing. We don't know. <laughs> we don't know. Let me tell you something. Read this. Ecclesiastes. Chapter 3, verse 15. Uh -huh. That which have been. That which have been. Read, is now. Is now. That past that you talk about, that dark, disgusting history, that's right now. That's right. Read. And that which is to be. And that which is to be. Read. Has already been. Uh huh. And God requireth that which is past. The most I require that which is past. Go. So that blood and all those wicked deeds that you're talking about in the American history that you not don't agree with, guess what? God's going to require it. That's right. He's going to require that your hands. Hassan, give me that precept. You got it? Yeah, yeah. Get that precept real quick. Come up, come up real quick. This is a powerful priest of God right here. I want him to read this scripture for you. Just, just for you. Read. Huh. This is the book of Job, chapter 21, verse 19. Uh, 
God layeth up his iniquity. God layeth up his iniquity. The iniquity of your fathers, God layeth it up. Read. For his children. For what? For his children. For you. For you, the sins of your fathers are given to you. And God said you're going to have to pay for it. In your generation, you got to deal with that, man. All right? But under that same concept, uh -huh. then what we do is pass our children and their children and their children indefinitely. Uh -huh. And that means all the hate that you guys uh -huh. are spreading, uh -huh. trying to reach love uh -huh. simultaneously, uh -huh. will that be passed down to your children yes. and, hey, listen, cycle and, and cycle and cycle and cycle. And, and, and nothing Thus, we're doing is wrong. What are we Thus, doing that's wrong? Wait. All I'm doing is propagating goodness. Let me tell you something. Love everybody, that's been given to my ancestors three or four generations. And what in the hell has that got us? Gone. You're Can you explain? Right. Nothing. You're so why in the hell would I keep that up? Brother. Go ahead. That's I horrible, man. Time. You with this devil, man? Israel. That's horrible. You a tribe of Israel, you walking around with the devil, man. That's right. Oh, that's right. That's horrible. And you know that's the devil, man. You know good and damn, you know better than me that's the devil. Right? Go ahead. What do you say? Continue from perpetrating the endless cycle of hatred. Uh -huh. The endless cycle of hatred. All black people, Hispanic people have done is be Christians and worship a white Jesus that looked similar to you <laughs> if you weren't born with deformities and and love everybody for 500 years. And what in the, we've gotten less than 500 years doing that. So I think we should go back to hating. I think that would be great. That's right. Hating. Yeah, and actually thing. loving yeah. our own. Because all we've done since we worship the white Jesus was love you and hate each other. So instead, we're going to read, we're going to go back into the history. We're going to see that Christ looked like us. That's going to cause us to love one another and hate the rightful enemy, the devil, the Bible speaks of That's you. Right. That's right. That's right. right. You. Under that note, uh -huh. it should be that you guys hate the Catholic Church. Oh. Because the Catholic Church. Wait, hold on, hold on. Church. Hold on. Let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. And what was what was the nationality of the first white pope that got in the Catholic Church and got that image painted and propagated throughout the earth? He was Jewish. That's he was a crypto Jew that wanted power. He infiltrated the papacy and took over the world through the Catholic Church. A Jewish man. Right. So by your logic, I should hate the Jewish. That's right. I'm not saying that all Jews are perfect. Oh, absolutely yeah. not. No, no. We Let me ask you something. Let me ask you something. Let me ask you something. Are you familiar with the Mazitza? The Mazitza. You don't know what a Mazitza is? Messiah? No, the Mazitza. I thought you spoke the Yiddish, man. Years and years ago. You don't know the Mazitza? No, not anything. You know what the Mazitza is? That's when y'all go and suck baby dicks. What? You about that practice? No? Were you circumcised? Okay, so how were you circumcised? How were you circumcised? The rabbi circumcised you? I know, I just take the hospital action. So you didn't get a rabbinical circumcision? How do you feel about Jewish people? Circumcising little babies, that's fine, nothing wrong with that. But then sucking the blood off of a baby's penis, how do you feel about a grown man doing that? That is unnecessary and disgusting. But that is a common Jewish practice. It's right. so that's why I asked you about it. So, no, I went through a normal medical facility. What, in the doctor? All right, they do it, they do do it, but a rabbi come in the hospital and do it. Rabbi present. No, no. We didn't convert you. So you're a convert. Yeah. See, we're not oh, converts up here. None of us I'm are converts up here, man. That's what I'm saying. All right. I don't know my history. Oh, you don't know your history? I have. Let me give you a let me let me give you a glimpse into your history. Let me give you a glimpse into your history. There's a region in, in modern day Georgia, Russia, and Armenia. All right. It's called the Caucasus. In the caucus, there's caves. The caves that you crawled out of. That's your that's history. That's right! I got a crash course in history right now. God! You see? So I'm just trying to you know, understand you guys uh -huh. because I want to understand. Here's what you need to understand. We're the real Israelites. That's We're the right. real Jews. You're the devil. That's, that's right! right. You're our enemy. And you have an impending doom from God and a judgment. That's right. Right. Of, your, of your enslavement. You understand what I'm saying? That's right. You're going to be enslaved, right. man. You got to right. get in shape, man. We are, I got to put you to work. You understand what I'm saying? Yes. Right. Yes. I'm, you I'm are, a lot more look, stubborn look than how, I look. Look how frail you are, man. I what look frail. I did night crew at Ralph's. You did night crew at Ralph's? <laughs> yeah. So you can pick up them boxes. 
Yeah. That's good, man, because I'm going to have you listen. Hey, bro, hey, yo, good. I thought you just got fired. I got fired from a different job. I left Rouse. Why would you oh, leave you left Rouse and then went to that job and got no, fired? No, because I got, um, a, I was having a lot of issues with my dad's health. So I had to switch my uh, job. Well, we, we got we got to go for it to the most time, man. Your dad got cancer or something? No, actually, he has sciat sciatica. What's that? Me going crazy? No, it's when your entire lower back spasms so badly that you can't get out of bed. Get the most high hand. This way! about the woes of your family, man, God. right? Because guess what? Blacks and Hispanics, they got lower back problems. You know why? Because they've been working for you motherfuckers. Right? That's right! God! That's why we got lower back problems. You understand what I'm saying? So I, I can't feel, I, I gotta praise the most high in heaven that y'all are feeling the bite in your own kingdom, man. Anyone who wasn't fighting the Romans was a collaborator and worthy of death. Many were slain every day, and the fear men were in was worse than the calamity itself. The Sakari fighters are motivated by a deeply held belief in God, freedom, and the independence of their country. They're famed for their fanaticism and their vicious dagger. The Sicarii are one of the only guerrilla groups never to bow to the might of the Roman Empire. The Sicarii were guerrillas. Guerrilla warfare was a perfect gap for a guerrilla unit. But for the Sicarii, surrender is not an option. Fanatical groups like the Sicarii never surrender. They never surrender because what their aims are are not negotiable. 